How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Is now a good time to buy Bitcoin and what kind of allocation should you start with? We're going to be going through that today. We have some news on ETF flows. We have some news on uh, the market that we have to cover. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on that bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. There's also going to be a link underneath the video to Marjax in case you want to start trading cryptocurrencies with leverage. They do have this convert function as well so that you can convert some of your cryptos to cash in case you want to trade out of the market. And there's also a link to CoinW underneath the video as well where you can spot trade, you can futures trade. They're also giving you some fat bonuses too when you use that link and you start futures trading. So definitely check out those links underneath the video. As we can see, Bitcoin is still in this triangle. Getting closer and closer to the halving. We're about two weeks away and that's about when this triangle is going to end. So we're setting up for a pretty interesting next couple of weeks. We also got some nice ETF flow information yesterday. IBIT with $306 million worth of inflows. So that is a big day from IBIT. That is over 4,000 Bitcoin, about 4,500 Bitcoin that they bought. And overall, we had about 3,000 net Bitcoin because we did have a pretty big day out of GBTC. But I do think that that's going to slow down here soon and probably already is slowing. We've seen that over the last couple of days, less outflows than the days before. And the major reason for that is Genesis has finished selling $2.1 billion of their GBTC. Now, I covered this in the video yesterday, but I think it's important to remember less selling and more buying from some of these other ETFs is going to cause the price to go up for Bitcoin. You can also see here the flipping is going to be soon between IBIT and GBTC. Obviously, GBTC continues to sell Bitcoin, IBIT continues to buy, and there will be a time probably in the next three weeks or so that they flip each other. Now, I wanna talk about Bitcoin and whether now is a good time to be buying ahead of the halving, what kind of allocations you should have, but first, I do wanna talk about Nuco Cloud. Now, no matter where you look, it seems like AI is everywhere. Everyone's talking about GPU. Everyone's talking about uh, cloud computing. And you can see right here, interest is booming in AI, exploding over the last couple of years. And crypto starting to tick up as well. So this is really at an intersection of two things that people are really going to be looking up a lot. And they're going to come to this organically. And Nuco Cloud is a crypto that I'm paying attention to. They have the first decentralized mesh hyperscaler. It can be up to 70 to 90% more affordable than something like AWS. They actually have a couple different products, but they're doing a couple things really well right now. So they are doing a massive rebrand. So they're changing their logo. They're changing their website. They want to be one of the top crypto AI coins out there. They have been getting some grants too. They got two grants from the German, the German government, which no crypto project's ever done. And they're still small. When you look at them compared to other cryptocurrencies, it's, it's public right now. You can go buy it. It's up 4,600% in the last year, but it's only a $32 million market cap still. Now, that might sound big, but it's not compared to some of these other AI cryptos. I mean, take a look at Render at $3.62 billion. It's 120x smaller. ICP. 8.13 billion. So this is almost 300x smaller than ICP. Now, they are a partner of the channel. It is a crypto that I'm watching though very closely moving forward. I may be buying. So definitely check out the links underneath the video in case you want to do some more research. So is Bitcoin a good investment right now? I think a lot of us watching this video already are invested in Bitcoin, but it's always a good question whether we should be dollar cost averaging or holding or buying a lot or selling, you know, and of course, it's going to be do, it's going to be up to you in the end. It's uh, dependent on your situation. But typically, this is a pretty good time to be buying. If you look here, Bitcoin is just at the beginning of the bull market. Typically, we move up pretty significantly afterwards. This is also a log scale. So uh, we typically go up significantly after this bull market starts. This is something that plan B he has posted about and posted a full video about how this is the bullish time. Yeah, accumulation usually moves up when we move into this accumulation phase. It usually moves up a little bit, but nothing like these mega moves in the bull market. So typically, this would be a good time to be accumulating if you don't have any. But, you know, we could always go down short term. That's always a possibility. And 
we do have the Bitcoin having coming up. Maybe some people think, okay, it's time to sell because this is a major catalyst. I don't know where the next catalyst is. Some people are going to say that. I don't think that's very smart to sell, but you can always make your own decision. Um, the question is though, like if, if you didn't have any money in crypto, how much would you buy? How much makes sense to buy at this point? Well, what I usually say is start with 1% Bitcoin. I have a video on my channel on my home screen. If you go to my financial friend, just go to the, the overwhelming or the overarching channel. Uh, it talks about this. I think it's smart to start with 1% allocation to Bitcoin. It's enough that you feel the ups and downs, but not too much that you're going to be freaked out. So if you have $100,000 in net worth, maybe you put in $1,000. The crazy thing is, this is from 2019, this post, but holding 99% cash and 1% Bitcoin over the last 10 years was a better investment than investing in the uh, the greatest stock market bull run in history. Plan B talked about it too, 1% Bitcoin, 99% cash allocation beats S&P 500 over the last 10 years. And of course, you know, Bitcoin went up significantly, but we also know that uh, at this point, there weren't really yields for cash, right? Maybe you get a percent, maybe 2%. Now we're at 5%. So like if you did 5% Bitcoin, 95% cash, you're still 95% liquid. You can get 5% on your cash in money markets and you're probably gonna do pretty well with 5% Bitcoin. I mean, consider this, if Bitcoin goes up 2X, okay, your 5% turns into 10%. You get 5% from your cash so you're basically going to get a 10% return and you're still 95% cash for opportunities if something comes up. So it is kind of crazy when you think about that. And a lot of people think we're going up higher than 130,000, 140,000. But, you know, it might be something to consider that you do want an allocation to Bitcoin if you haven't already gotten some. And maybe you want a little bit more allocation towards Bitcoin, even if you have maybe 2 or 3%. Maybe you want to move it up to 5 or 10%. Of course, it's up to you. I'm not trying to tell you to buy anything, uh, but that's kind of my viewpoint. I think it's important to start with some allocation, maybe 1%, and then you can adjust it up from there. Overall, though, the market is looking fine. You know, on the last seven days, we are down a little bit with Bitcoin down about 6%. Over the last 30 days, it's been a bit boring. Bitcoin's down about 1% on the last 30 days because we've just been in a channel. We've just been in a channel of triangle, uh, just going sideways. Of course, some cryptos are up significantly over the last 30 days, Solana, BNB, but they have been taking a bit of a dip, as you can see here with Solana down 11% in the last week. And a lot of altcoins bleeding to Bitcoin over the last seven days and over the last 30 days. Now, let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. I really do appreciate it. Let me know if you think it's a wise decision to start buying some Bitcoin. Are you going heavier into Bitcoin? Just yesterday, I made a video talking about how I did buy 0.1 Bitcoin recently on top of what I already had. And I went through that. If you haven't seen that, go check out that video. I appreciate it. I hope you all are having a great weekend. I'll see you in the next one.